Argentina's memorable third place finish in 2007 was the best ever result for a South American side at a Rugby World Cup. The Pumas have been by far and away the region's major force in the game, but that dominance may soon be under threat. It may not happen overnight, but in Brazil, rugby is making huge strides. Newly promoted to South America's top division, they consolidated that position earlier this year by beating Paraguay to retain their place among the continent's elite. Mira, lo mejor que yo creo que tiene Brasil es eh, primero lo que es Brasil como potencia. The best thing about Brazil is the potential that it has as a country. With a population of almost 200 million, a strong economy and a very strong sporting culture, all of this helps in terms of development and us being able to initiate new projects. And I think the current government in Brazil is very business-minded, which can only be of help in terms of the development we are trying to achieve. I'd say that rugby has something of the Brazilian character about it. It's a sport that involves struggles and competing to overcome them. It's a game that doesn't stop. It's relentless. It's a sport that, if well publicized, could become one of the greatest sports in Brazil, because Brazilians love watching sporting creativity. I think it's got a good future. The game's development will be given further impetus when rugby makes its eagerly anticipated return to the Olympics in 2016, which will be held in Rio de Janeiro. Between now and then, though, a great deal of work still needs to be done to establish the game at grassroots level. Bueno, el rugby in Brasil eh, realmente ha crecido mucho en los últimos años. Eh, Brazil's playing has really come along in the last few years. They've done well in regional tournaments, but they still need to work on improving their training methods and concentrate on the youth setup, which is something they're currently trying to work on. I'm trying to drum the ABC of rugby into them. In terms of a South American style, you first need to know your basics. You have to learn the fundamental playing skills, like how to pass the ball. We're still at the stage of, let's try this first, now try that. We are limited, as we're more or less starting from scratch. We're developing our own style of play because, like our Brazilian culture, we're a team that likes to attack, just like we do in football. We've a sporting culture that's very creative. We like to use our feet, look for gaps, we're agile. I think if we manage to develop our own Brazilian style of the game, it's going to be beautiful to watch. Since Brazil made their international debut in the 1950s, it's taken until now for the game to make its mark in one of the world's largest countries. But there are exciting times ahead. I think that in the next five or ten years, we could see great changes here, and I'm very ambitious. I'm here now, but may not be in ten years' time. But our aim is to qualify for the 2015 World Cup. It might sound like a dream, but as a coach I know what I can give and the time I need to do it in. I think we need to send players abroad to play in Argentina, France or Italy, just for them to keep learning more. Because just as rugby in Brazil is evolving, so it's evolving elsewhere as well. We need to try and be as good as them. And if we do it right, then it's going to become a real sport for us.